Hey everyone! Today I'm going to make some winter or Christmas themed room decor for a stuffed animal. Now I actually made these specifically because for the first day of Vlogmas, Chelsea is going to be doing a vlog where she redecorates her room. So make sure to watch out for that to see how she pulls all this together in the final room. Now let's get started! Okay, so I'm first going to be making some tiny pine trees to go as like decor on maybe a shelf or a nightstand. And I'm going to be using some green pipe cleaners for these. And this first one's going to be really tiny, so I'm wrapping this around the top of a pen, but you could also do a pencil. And I want to get this as tight as possible so when you take this off, there isn't any space in between. Once I got to the top, I bent it upwards and then just trimmed it short so there's a nice pointy top. And I'm going to attach this to a base later, so I took one of the bottom levels of pipe cleaner and just bent it straight down. And now to make a slightly bigger one, I'm using kind of the same technique, but I'm starting from the top this time. And if you have something that's a cone shape that's the size you want, you can also wrap it around that. But I didn't have one, so I just kind of kept bending it into that shape, getting bigger as it got to the base. And it might be tough to not have any space in between, but I think I did a pretty good job by the end. And once I got to the bottom, I did the same thing as the other one and bent part of it straight down. Here is how mine turned out, and if you want it a little bit fuller, you could also make a second one and just stack them, and that'll hopefully make it a little denser. But I liked how mine looked before, so I just left it with one. Okay, so now I'm going to add this base that is optional, but I wanted to go for that kind of burlap sack look. But all I had was this kind of cross between a ribbon and twine, but it did have that kind of burlap look. So I just decided to roll it up, and I kind of started it around that base first, and then kept wrapping until it was the size I wanted. And then off camera, I cut this off and glued it in place so it wouldn't unravel. So here's how it looked once it dried. I made a smaller one for the smaller pine tree. And then I just stuck it into that base. And this bigger one, I had it pretty tightly in there so I didn't glue it. But I think the smaller one I glued in. Now you could stop right here, but I'm going to turn these into snowy pine trees by just painting on a little bit of white paint on the little bristles of the pipe cleaner. So I'm just lightly brushing the edges, making sure you can still see the green. And after that, I couldn't help myself and decided to dip this in a little bit of white glitter I had. I don't know if this made it look better, but it added a little bit of sparkle. So after doing the same thing to the other one, these mini pine trees are done. These can just sit anywhere for decoration, but I had a plan to do kind of a snow bed with these on the side on her nightstand. So that's what I'm going to be working on next. It's really simple and it did not turn out correctly, so I had to redo it. That's why it wasn't in the intro but it'll be in Chelsea's vlog, so make sure to watch that. I want this to cover half of the nightstand, so I'm tracing half of it on some thin cardboard, and then I'm cutting that straight edge in kind of a wavy form so it looks like the edge of a snowbank or like an icy lake. But my key mistake here was cutting this out of brown cardboard because once I glued on the glitter, which was kind of a whitish clear, it wasn't opaque enough and so I could still see the brown. So what I should have done is cover this in paper or paint this white first, or just cut this out of regular paper, which I eventually did. So just make sure your background is white if you're going to do something similar with like a clearish glitter. So as you can see, this was not looking how I expected it, so I had to start over. But you can see how the final nightstand turned out with the trees in Chelsea's vlog. Okay, the next thing I'm going to make is a little Polaroid garland. And this is pretty self-explanatory, but I figured I'd film it. So the first thing I need are tiny photos. So you could always take these photos yourself and then print them out at a really small scale or print out random pictures from the internet. But the way I like to do it without a printer is just to cut them out of magazines. So I just looked for any section with nice colors or like a landscape to be the photo. And then I cut a small square of that and glued this onto some white paper and then trimmed it so it has a white border around it with a slightly larger section at the bottom and that'll give it that Polaroid look. So I had to trim this a little bit more because not all the lines are parallel, but then I just continued doing that for the rest of the photos. I was trying to go for a more wintry theme, but I didn't have too many options, so I just chose anything that I thought looked good. And then I glued them all onto one piece of paper and then trimmed around that, and that's a lot easier than cutting out each white square separately. And then from there, I could trim them into the Polaroid shape. So once I had my photos, I gathered the other materials I need. So first is the string. I happen to have this white and red one that looks Christmassy. And then to clip these on, I actually already had these teeny tiny clothespins that are perfect for this. But you could also always use something like washi tape. And I also already had some jingle bells, so I decided to put that in between each photo to give it more of a Christmassy feel. So once I had all the jingle bells strung on, I just clipped the photos in between. And that is pretty much it for this garland. I feel like you need to hear it though to get the full effect. 
Now the last thing I'm going to make is a birch tree canvas. So first to make the canvas, I cut two rectangles out of cardboard and then cut out the inside of one so it's just a frame. And instead of having it all one piece, you can always do four separate strips of cardboard. Then I just glued them together. So this is going to be the back of the canvas and this extra layer will give it some thickness on the side so it looks like an actual canvas. Then so I have a white base to start, I'm gluing on a piece of white recycled paper to the front. And I left a border around the edge so I could fold over the sides. Then that'll leave you with a nice clean canvas that you can paint whatever you want on. I'm going to paint a bunch of birch trees since I feel like that's just a wintry scene. And an easy way to do that is to take any straight edge. I'm going to be testing out corrugated cardboard and just like paperboard. But the main idea is you paint that straight edge black, place it straight down on the paper, and then drag it a little bit to one side. And that'll make half of the birch tree. I like the results a little better with the thin cardboard. So that's what I decided to go with, and it's good to practice this before you do it on the main canvas. The first one I did was a little bit wide, so for the other ones I made sure to make them a little skinnier. And for that first swipe, it'll be really dark because you just put the paint on there, but then I just keep flipping it for the other sides till I got all that paint off. Don't worry if this doesn't look perfect because that's the beauty of this painting. I really think it comes together when you're done and all of them are on there together. So I kept repeating that for the other trees and some of them got a little wonky like this one got put at an angle but I just kept going and tried to make them pretty close together but have some gaps. You could also write on one of the trees with pen like it's a carving but I was afraid to mess this up. So here is how it turned out. I painted the edges gold for some color but it's not very noticeable. But I'm really happy with how this turned out. I tried to do this artwork for a stuffed animal room like maybe five years ago and I feel like this turned out way better. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a like, comment any video requests you have, and subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure to watch Chelsea's upcoming vlog to see her use these to decorate her room. She's going to be attempting Vlogmas, but she won't be putting out vlogs every day since that's kind of a lot of work for one stuffed animal. But she will be doing Christmas themed vlogs and activities, so I'm really looking forward to doing some of those. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time! Bye!